Let us now prove the other case of this proof where uh, the median of all these peaks, the agent peaks and the phantom peaks is a agent peak. So one of these here. So uh, what we are going to do here is that we will uh, we'll prove this for play, uh, two players, only two players. The general case essentially is a, uh, a little non-trivial uh, uh, extension but the idea of this proof remains the same. So, I'll uh, provide the references if you are interested in reading that general proof. So, before proceeding, we first make the following claim. Suppose we have these two players, we are now only looking at two players. And suppose there are two preference profiles which agree on their peaks. So, maybe the preferences might be, so one preference might have a much sharper fall than the other one. Uh, but the, the point is that their peaks remain the same. Uh, or uh, the the relative ordering uh, between this and the uh, alternate is on this side versus this side that might be different because there is no rule which says that uh, what will happen for uh, for those alternatives which are on two other sides of the peak that might change but their peaks do not change so for both player one as well as for player two in these two different preference profiles the peaks remain the same and then the claim says that uh, then the outcome should also remain the same. So how can we prove that? So let us assume that uh, player 1's peak in these two pr uh, profiles is A and that for player 2 is B. And suppose uh, that FP, the outcome in the first case is X and the outcome when we change the, the first player's preference to the second, uh, second preference ordering which is P1 prime and keep the second player's preference the same then the outcome uh, is y right so and uh, quite naturally we are assuming for contradiction that y should not be equal to x and let's see what what happens now since if is strategy proof we know that under this preference profile uh, p1 x should be more preferred than y because here uh, it is uh, uh, it is uh, assumed that uh, this P1 is the true preference and P1 prime is the misreported one. So if uh, player 1's true preference was P1, uh, that, uh, uh, that agent uh, should have preferred X more than Y. And similarly, you can say the same for the other preference. Now, Y will be more preferred than X. Now, since uh, the peaks of P1 and P1 prime are the same, then if x and y rem uh, remains on the same side of the peak so imagine a situation where uh, both of them let's say this is the p1 and both x and y are on, on this side and in one case you have x is uh, uh, more preferred than y and also at the same time y is more preferred than x this can happen because these uh, preferences are anti-symmetric that is if, uh, uh, if both these things happen uh, x is preferred than y, y is preferred than x, then they must be the same. So there cannot be any kind of indifferences here. And uh, uh, because of that fact, then uh, if they are on the same side, then they must be the same. So we have already, uh, we already get the result. The only possibility is when x and y are on the different side, then this, this is possible. But now we are going to show that um, it is impossible under this setting to have x and y on two different sides and why is that uh, because uh, remember x and y are outcome of a social choice function and that social choice function has one additional property than strategy proofness so it, it is strategy proof and onto so we have also seen that under this situation uh, onto ness uh, and pair to efficiency are equivalent when uh, the social choice function is strategy proof we have already seen a result like this now we are going to use this Pareto uh, efficiency and we have also seen for Pareto efficiency what should happen. So let's assume without loss of generality, now x is on the left hand side of this peak and y is on the right hand side of the peak. And again without loss of generality, uh, a is less than b. So the peak of the first player is on the left of the, uh, of the peak of the uh, second player. Now uh, what should happen for Pareto efficiency is that the outcome should lie between a and b. And this is a very crucial point. You, you can already observe that x is living on the left of it. 
so that that is already a contradiction because uh, if uh, because uh, x is a social uh, outcome of a social choice function of the same social choice function which is Pareto efficient then this cannot happen I mean we have this interval uh, a is here and B is here so these are the two peaks of these two players uh, the any uh, outcome social choice uh, uh, of the social choice function must live inside it but we have this X which is living outside so it cannot be Pareto efficient so for all Pareto efficient social choice function this cannot happen so therefore what we have assumed was wrong and you can uh, look at the the other uh, cases as well I mean if B was less than A and uh, something else was was true I mean this uh, condition uh, again there should always be some um, outcome of the social choice function which is living outside that interval and we will have a contradiction to Pareto efficiency now that is uh, for one transition so we have uh, we have done the transition from P to P1 prime P2 now we can complete this transition from P1 prime P2 where we know that the outcome is the same and then we go to P1 prime P, P, P2 prime and there also the outcome should be same. Okay, so that with that small result, let us get back to the, the, uh, the actual proof. Now we have a profile P1, P2 which is uh, given by P and we know that the peak of the first player is A, peak of the second player is B. And let us uh, denote y1 is the phantom peak now by assumption because we are in this case 2 the median of these three things three these three numbers here um, is going to be uh, an agent peak so either a or b and we can without loss of generality assume the median is a for b again a very um, similar argument will follow so let's let us assume for contradiction the outcome is c which is not equal to a we'll have to show that this median has to be the same uh, this uh, outcome social choice outcome should be exactly equal to that median but let us assume that is not true then by uh, Pareto efficiency we know that c must be within this interval um, uh, within the interval between a and b right so that is uh, that is something that we have seen so there there are two possible cases in which a can be a median either b is less than a less than y1 in that case a is a median or y1 is less than a less than b in that case also a is a median so these are the two exhaustive cases so let us look at the first sub case that is uh, b is less than a less than y1 and by Pareto efficiency we know that c has to be somewhere in between so in particular c has to be less than a now we are going to construct and show a counter, uh, counter example if uh, uh, that uh, this uh, cannot happen. So we construct a, a P1 prime where the, the peak remains the same as the previous one as the as P1 itself. But uh, Y1 and C, uh, I mean Y1 is more preferred under this preference than C. Why is that uh, possible to do? Because now we know that A is uh, living somewhere here, B is here, C is somewhere here because of the Pareto efficiency and Y1 is here. Because Y1 and C are on two different sides of this peak, I mean peak is this uh, A, uh, then uh, this is possible. Uh, you can always construct a preference profile which has Y1 more preferred than C. Now by the earlier claim, whenever the peaks remain the same, uh, if an outcome, uh, I mean, if C is the outcome in this preference profile, then it better be the outcome in the new preference profile as well. So in P1 prime and uh, P2, under that preference profile, the outcome should also be C, right? So this is, this is let's say, point number one. And now we are going to consider a very special profile of player one, but uh, this is P11. Uh, remember, this is the, the, uh, the peak is on the rightmost position. Right. So this is something like this, the, the rightmost position is the peak and then uh, it is uh, falling down towards the left. So if that is the uh, preference profile, we already know that that is the extreme right. So therefore, uh, um, the, the P2 or the for player 2, the peak is B, that is by, uh, by the choice that we have made and B is actually less than Y, I mean that is how we have uh, 
So this is this case B is less than Y and Y is less than or equal to this P111. So of course this is the, the rightmost point so therefore it must be larger than all these things. So in that case, so if you if we just look at this particular uh, uh, preference uh, profile, uh, P11 and P2, there, there are uh, these uh, three peaks. So one peak is on the extreme right, the second is the phantom one and you have another agent peak which is B. And because of uh, these peaks are essentially, the, uh, because of these three peaks, the median happens to be this Y1 which is a uh, which is a, uh, a phantom peak and uh, if it is a phantom peak we already know the uh, the result of case one where the uh, um, the binion was the phantom peak so then by case one we already know that the outcome the social choice outcome should be exactly equal to the median which is y1 and now the contradiction happens now we know that uh, by by construction y1 uh, is more preferred than c and we know that the outcome at, at that uh, uh, that case, that uh, preference profile is C, then you already uh, uh, see a kind of a manipulation which is possible by player 1. Uh, it, uh, it prefers Y1 more than C, but the outcome is actually a worse outcome. While if it manipulates it, uh, its preference from P, P1 prime to P11, it gets this outcome which is y1 which is more preferred than the current outcome which is c so f cannot be strategy proof so this is this is the contradiction that we actually lead to and therefore uh, what we have assumed was incorrect so we, uh, the this should also be the outcome the outcome should be exactly equal to a which is the which is the agent peak and a very similar um, um, complementary analysis you can do when y1 is less than a less than b and the Pareto uh, uh, efficiency will Im imply that A must be, so C should be between A and B and you can just replicate the same uh, arguments, the same proof. Uh, I just skip that for you to observe and redo. The, the, all the steps are done here, but you just have to understand that them appropriately. So there also you will have a contradiction to the strategy proofness and essentially uh, then you can conclude that the outcome in both these cases has to be the, the, the median which is the agent peak in this case. And now the, to complete this uh, proof, so this is this completes the proof of uh, case 2 for two agents for the n number of agents uh, you, you can take a look at this original paper which, uh, which proves it. This is a highly readable paper and also interesting to read. So the title of this paper is on strategy proofness and single picketness. So this gives a ton of results that we have proved in the previous module and in this module.